this video, we'll see how to pass parameters through a URL to a Lambda function. A URL with a query string, such as this one, will become an object in a Lambda function with matching attributes. And a URL with route parameters, such as this one, will be extracted to a string, which we can then parse into an array or an object. We'll use API Gateway, create an HTTP API, and connect it to a Lambda function, and then extract the parameters from the URL. Let's get started by creating our Lambda function. In the Lambda console, we'll create a new function and we'll call it URL params. In the code of the function, we have the event object that contains information about the request. We'll use this object later on to extract the parameters we need. Now that we have our Lambda function, let's create the API gateway endpoint that will provide us with a URL which we can call to execute our function. Let's open the API Gateway console to create our endpoint. We'll create an API type of HTTP API. We'll call our API URL params API. And we want to add an integration, which means that every time our URL will be executed, it will forward the request to our Lambda function. So in the options, we'll choose Lambda as our integration type, and then we'll simply choose the Lambda function that we created. Know that in here we use version 2.0 for the format of the event object that we're going to get in our Lambda function. If we'll click on learn more, we'll get the format of the event object that we'll receive. And as you can see here, we have the headers and the query string parameters and other information about the request. We'll keep it for reference later. When we configure routes, we want to create a proxy route, which means that on every request to our API endpoint, we want to execute our Lambda function and pass the URL to the function. So we'll choose any as the method, which means that it will be executed for any request with one of these types. And for the resource path, we'll change it from a specific static URL to use a proxy variable. We'll call it proxy and use a plus sign to indicate that we want the entire URL and we'll pass the request to the URL params Lambda function, which is integrated with this API endpoint. We'll create a default stage and auto deploy our changes to the function. Now that our API endpoint was created, we get this URL. And when we'll invoke this URL, we'll call our Lambda function. So this is the text that we return from our current Lambda function. And if we'll try to change this and deploy our changes, we should see the URL updated with the latest Lambda code. Let's adjust our Lambda function and extract the parameters we're interested in from the URL. If you find this kind of short and practical videos about AWS interesting, please make sure to check out the other videos on my channel and subscribe to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you find this video useful and you learn something from it, please make sure to leave it a like so it will reach more people. First, let's set the content type of our response so we can send back text and see it as HTML in the browser. Let's also add a body to our response and we'll use it to present the parameters in the browser. First thing we want to show is the query string parameters. We'll get them from the event object. And if we we'll go back to the formatting of our request, we can see that it's one of the attributes that is provided to us within the event object. So let's add it to our response. The second thing we want to add is the path of our request. We can find the path from the HTTP attribute that is within the request context of our event object. Now let's deploy and see how our response looks. So if we refresh, we'll see that we don't have any query string parameters and our path is blank. So let's try to change our URL. Now that we added the path, you can see that our Lambda function is still called and we see the path from within our function. We can now add some sort of a router to our function, which will get the path of the request and this way it will know which response the user expects to receive. Let's also add query string parameters and see how they are displayed. The query string parameters appear as an object. We have the keys hello and one that we have in our URL and then the values for these keys which are world and two. And this is how we can extract URL parameters from within our Lambda function. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to get notified about the next AWS video I upload.